Immortal Fear, Zombies Monologue by K.B. Michaels, performed by John Austin. You know, I don't remember the first several years of I, after I came to be, but it doesn't matter. But I remember the fire, the screams of rage, the pain all around me. I know I did something horrible. I just can't remember what it was. Then the council found me. I don't really remember who or what they were, but only that they chained me down like a dog and did horrible experiments on me. They wanted to see what I could do by cutting off limbs, burning my body with more than just fire, taking multiple blades to me, but the joke was on them. Because the rage that filled me consumed me and clouded my mind and made it not matter. They, as far as I was concerned, they were trying to kill me and failing miserably at it. I just kept coming back. I didn't even have a name, but I remember the whispers. I was a monster. The big, bad, unkillable monster that they could do anything with. But that all changed when he showed up. He gave me something more than just freedom. He gave me a name and allowed me to step out into the light for the first time in what seemed like centuries. But it was more than just him setting me free. He showed me how to harness that rage and then asked me to follow into a cause That man then looked at me and told me something that shattered all that I had known. I had been put on God's green earth with a purpose. What purpose, you might ask? Well, he wanted me to hunt down the denizens of the dark that broke the shadow law, set forth by the dark king. He considered that all life was important to some degree. I didn't understand at first they, why they would need our protection, the humans. But after centuries, I do get it now. I remember what he said on that day in the snow, that they are capable of more than angels, and yet are more devious than the lowest of de devils. These were humans. They were fragile things that flickered like flame in the, in the wind here for a short time, and then gone the next. They need us to protect them. Not from themselves, that's not our place, but from the denizens that come from the dark. And I realized that I could make a difference because I wasn't mortal. Death had no grip on me, but there was a fear I had. I feared the humans. And I didn't understand it exactly at first. I mean, through the centuries, I had seen my share of horrible, nasty shit. And done some of it myself, in fact. But it never justifies the unease I have of humans. I mean, I was afraid during the plague. I was around during the plague. And that was some of the nasty shit that you can't ever forget. Hell, I had to walk by and hunt while they were carting the bodies down the street. And let me tell you, that smell never leaves your nose. I, I saw how they treated their own kind. Taking them by thousands and throwing them into camps and re realizing it wasn't our place to interfere. How many children did I see lay waste from starvation? I won't lie, I wanted to let the dark denizens tear them limb from limb. I lost a bit of faith in humanity for quite some time. I knew where other, there were other things to be afraid of, and I had seen my fair share. We're talking about some horrible things come from the depths of hell, 
or wherever it is that they come from. But I remember when I figured it out. I still remember that day. I understood why I truly fear humans. It was back in 92. I flipped on the old telly in some rundown hotel to kill some time. The team and I were on the hunt for a bunch of cultists that were trying to bring some lesser evil to the world and I just couldn't get to sleep. As I flipped on the, the channels, I stumbled across this thing and I, this sound, it felt like a sponge sucking out my very soul. With each second, those mad, what were they thinking? These mad men, what would they, why would they put this on television? This big, fat, purple thing. What was this? Some sort of pedophile glorified on television? I can still hear it now. I love you, you love... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> I knew then, and I finally understood what true fear was and what true madness is. Thank you.